What's up? <laughs> I hope y'all are having a dope ass day. It's your boy Alex and I am back today with another reaction video. We are continuing our Vermillion journey because this is the second one, the last Vermillion song. Part two, had to come back the second day and do part fucking two because you know, first of all, it's like my OCD type of thing. I need to flip the light switch on and off 17 times before I leave a room where my family will die. That I felt like it had to be in sequence. Second of all, I know that if I didn't do this, y'all would be like, what the I'd be like, yo, I don't know, man. So anyway, that's not even an option. Today we are gonna be reacting to Vermillion Part 2. You said that already! Yesterday we saw Vermillion, and if you didn't see that reaction, go back and watch that. Did do a little bit of research, and I found out that the narrative of the two Vermillion songs is ostensibly about a killer and his victim, but the subtext suggests that the victim is merely a personification of an ideal quality that the narrator does not or cannot ever possess. She could also embody addiction, a craving that can never be sated, or an ignorance that can never be edified. Weird words, but you know, it is what it is. Really excited to hear Vermillion Part 2. I thoroughly enjoyed Vermillion Part 1, so you know, I'm about to see what the second was all about, damn pra. Morning coffee, cheers to ya. For those y'all sipping on some morning coffee yourselves. Also, a new shirt design is out. Y'all peep this new Friends Heavy Metal collab shirt. And how about y'all just smack dab your credit cards and order that bad boy because it's only available for two weeks and it's a sick f***ing shirt. For those y'all who don't like Friends or don't really watch it, I'd suggest revisiting it. I stepped out of my comfort zone experiencing heavy metal and it was something incredible. So maybe if you step out of your comfort zone and go watch an episode or two of Friends, I guarantee you, you won't be able to stop. And then you can come by and buy the shirt. So, you know, it's dope as hell. Anyway, today's about to be live, live, f***ing live! And I'm just excited for it. So I hope y'all are having an amazing day. And uh, let's get it going. Got the lyrics pulled up. Vermilion Part 2. Let's motherfucking get it damn, bruh. Don't know why I did that. Let's get it. Not what I anticipated at all from this part two. Honestly, part one was drastically different, so this is a complete switch up. Not what I expected at all, but a very, very good result, honestly. Much better than I anticipated, actually. Wow. The unrequited dream The song that no one sings The unattainable She's a myth that I have to believe in All I need to wow. make it real one more reason I don't know what to do I don't know what to do What she makes me So I think that this is like very one-sided. He's describing how she makes him feel, but at the end of the day, he's like stalking her, like she's the victim. So it's like, it's very relatable lyrics because sometimes that's how I feel about Sarah. Like she's the unattainable. She's the song that no one sings. I just, she's so incredible and that's how I feel about her. But this is just a different dynamic on it. So it's like the relationship is different rather than two people who are in a loving, committed relationship. It's like a stalker, victim, creepy type of sh so the uh, personal connection is there, but the relationship between it is something that not many people understand at all. Shh. 
Shit, this is dope! A catch in my throat Choke Torn into pieces I won't No I don't wanna be this But I won't let this build up inside me Wow Super interesting video too, and honestly those repetitive lyrics, I won't let this build up inside of me, it shows that he's like trying to fight that innerness that he needs this girl, like this inner obsession. He's trying to say that he's not gonna let it build up inside of him. It shows that he's fighting his inner desires, which is something that everybody goes through on a daily basis in my opinion. Wow. Jesus, that is so good, bro. Vermilion, honestly, dude, Vermilion Part 2, I am much more about Part 2 than Part 1. Okay, you did not just say that. Part 1 was really, really good, though, but for some reason, I'm just more drawn to this. This is just, I wasn't expecting it, so it, like, caught me a little bit off guard, but the part that did catch me off guard, it was, like, so good. And something that I absolutely love about Slipknot is expectations. What I know to expect is quality music. What I expect from Slipknot is to be wowed. I expect to be, like, thought per Provoked. I expect to be overall satisfied, but what I don't expect from Slipknot every time is what the song is gonna sound like. Facts. I have no idea if it's gonna be some intense screaming, some crazy videography type shit, like some very intense graphic things going on in the video, intense screaming in the song, or if it's like an acoustic, slow, melodic song. Like, you don't know what to expect from Slipknot. I think that is so fun. Like, that's such a cool aspect of their music, and that's why I absolutely have a ton of respect for Slipknot, because they keep you on your toes, but they produce a quality product at the end of the day. So, that's where you guys come in. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think of this song, this group, and this video in general, and also, which Vermillion are you more about? You like part one better or you like part two better and tell me why. That'd be super awesome. But that being said, that is all I got for you today. Keep smiling. Keep being yourself. Don't let anybody throw shade at you. I will see you tomorrow. That's a motherfucking fact though, y'all. Peace.